Good day to the head of quality control of the company. I am Jerobo Ardumalag, a chemistry model designer at a molecular vision space in Ohio, USA. So for today's goal is to design using models a representation of the atomic structure of different elements using household or usable materials decently. So I'm going to show you the materials that I'm going to use for today's representation of the model. So here we have a glue gun and a glue stick. And then new styrofoam balls that I found in my grandfather's room. It was supposed to be used in my grandfather's birthday decoration, but I asked him if I could use this in designing my model for today. And we have a knife. I don't have a cutter, so I'm just going to use a knife to cut the styrofoam balls into half. And then I'm going to use a paint to color the styrofoam balls into blue, yellow, and pink. And then a paintbrush to brush the styrofoam balls and a plastic cup, a wire, and a cable wire that I found in the storage room, and a cardboard as its base. That's all for the materials. So now I'm going to show you how I will design the model. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to stop the barbecue stick into the styrofoam ball and I'm going to start painting it. I just realized that I don't have enough barbecue stick. So I'm going to break the other barbecue stick into half so that I can use the other half in stubbing the other styrofoam balls. And I'm going to continue painting it. I haven't had any problem while looking for a paint because I'm an art lover so I already have one. So I'm going to start cutting it into half because I don't have enough styrofoam balls in making this model. I am already done painting the styrofoam balls and I'm going to let it dry. So while waiting for the styrofoam balls to dry, I am going to make the circle. So here we have a styrofoam. Just gonna put it right there. I am going to recycle the styrofoam that I found in our house and I'm going to cut it again using a knife. I am done cutting the styrofoam so I'm going to place it in each side of the circle. And now that I'm done arranging it in what it should look like, I'm going to use a glue gun to glue the cable wire in the styrofoam. Since we're done cutting the styrofoam balls into half, and since we're going to make a nitrogen atom, we need 7 electrons, so it's the yellow one, 7 protons, and 7 neutrons. So I recycle the styrofoam and turn it into a small circle and I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm going to use a glue gun. So in the first layer of the circle, we're going to put two electrons. And in the second layer of the circle, we need five electrons. I'm going to use a wire 
This wire was used in decorating the balloons during my Lola's birthday and I'm going to use the rest of it in making this model. So I'm going to stop the wire in the middle of the styrofoam ball and I'm going to stop it again in the styrofoam. I am going to put a mixture of 7 protons and 7 neutrons in the middle. This is the final product. It is a model of the atomic structure, which is the nitrogen atom. A little overview of what I did today. So in making a nitrogen atom, we need to have 7 electrons, 7 protons, and 7 neutrons. So here you can see, in the first layer of the circle, you can see 2 electrons. And in the second layer of the circle, you can see 5 electrons. And in the middle, you can see a mixture of protons and neutrons. Nitrogen is a chemical element with the symbol N and an atomic number 7. It was first discovered and isolated by a Scottish physician, Daniel Rutherford, in 1772. As you can see, the materials that I found and is available here in our house was decently used in designing this product. From the styrofoam bowls, which is recycled from my grandfather's birthday decorations, and the cable wire that I found in our storage room, the styrofoam is here, and the cardboard as a base in this product, and the glue gun and the glue stick, which was a great help in gluing the materials here. To the head of the quality control of the company, thank you for watching the video. Once again, I am Jerval Ardomolag, a chemistry model designer at Molecular Visions based in Ohio, USA.